Nice looking day for us. Winds are going to be on the increase. Humidity levels are going to be in the increasing column as well. And as we hit Sunday night, it certainly starts to look like rain for us tonight, though. Clouds with the increase. Live look downtown Temple. Not a bad evening for us after a beautiful afternoon and mild temperature wise, warming up almost to 80. 77 was the high today in Moffat on Lake Belton. Our thanks to Bob Stewart for his report. Bell Mead, the Waco area. Deanna Jenkins reporting a high of 79. Topped at 81. It grows back, and our thanks going out to Debbie Fulmer. Right now, you're at 62 in Hillsboro, 60 in Marlin. Hearn, Calvert reporting 61, 59 up at Corsicana. Looking at 58 in Lamb Passes and San Saba, Gulf Weight as well. 61 in Colleen Coppers Cove, 60 Temple Belton, and 62 degrees. Air temperature right now in the Waco area. Tonight, we'll see the clouds on the increase. That'll hold it a little more warmth than we saw uh, last night. Last night's clouds held it a little bit, too. So first thing in the morning, I think 50s are going to be the rule. 54 in Gatesville first thing in the morning, 53 for Waco, 57 for Temple, and probably uh, a similar readings across much of the entire region. Afternoons tomorrow, back up into the 70s. Perhaps not as warm as today because the cloud cover will be thicker, and we might see a sprinkle or two across the area, but I don't put much in the, uh, the way of any rain in our forecast for us for the short term by Sunday. I'm thinking we could see some rain 62 right now under a fair sky 56% relative humidity. So that's beginning to climb. It's getting a little stickier, a little muggier. Winds out of the south southeast eight miles an hour. So for tonight, look for a partly cloudy sky. Late night hours will become a little cloudier and I think by morning will be overcast 53 southeast winds around five miles an hour now, picking up five to 10 during the day tomorrow. Clouds on the increase for us, moisture just rolling in off the Gulf of Mexico on those southerly breezes. Our rain chances begin to increase as we go into the Saturday time frame. But again, I think most of this is overplayed by the computer model. I don't think we see that big a rain chance in Saturday's forecast either. Not to say that we won't see a few showers, but I, I just don't think it's gonna be widespread until Sunday. And Sunday, we got a cold front coming through. It'll be a squall line. Could be some thunder, possibly some hail and strong damaging winds late Sunday night, Monday morning. We'll keep an eye on that and fine tune that forecast as we go into the weekend. But Andy, we need the rain, right? We need the rain so desperately. All right, well, let's hope we don't get hammered, but we get a nice soaker. Curtis.